The transport industry accounts for nearly 16% of the world's total carbon emissions. However, this is one area that the world has actually done really well at in the last couple of years, mainly due to Tesla. Electric vehicles have actually been around since the 1800s. However, Elon Musk saw that the EVs needed to outperform standard vehicles if they ever hoped to be mainstream. Elon's company Tesla helped create a desire which other companies have jumped onto. As of 2010, less than 0.05% of cars were electric globally. As of 2021, that has increased to 4%, with many sources believing that by 2030, over 50% of all cars on the market will either be EV or hybrid series. Countries like Norway have already reached the 50% mark and actually are on track to be 90% by 2030. Tesla continues to plan to reduce atmospheric carbon dioxide in five major ways. Number one is the Hyperloop, which is a super fast train reaching speeds of 650 miles an hour or 1,000 kilometers an hour. That's about three times faster than high-speed rail and will cut down a plane ride from San Fran to LA, which is usually three hours, to just 30 minutes. This will encourage people to fly a lot less domestically and cut down a huge amount of jet fuel and the carbon it creates. Number two is the underground car tunnel. This car tunnel helps decrease congestion and therefore reduces carbon emissions as there's less traffic on the main roads. It's currently being built in Las Vegas and has plans for a New York to LA tunnel the whole way there and back. Number three is planes. Tesla has already designed their own Tesla jet and plans to put this into production in the next five to 10 years. Jet fuel is a huge contributor to CO2 and Tesla plans to be a part of that solution. Number four is self-driving with Uber or autonomous driving. Yes, Uber has partnered with Tesla to create vehicles that can drive to you, pick you up and drop you to your destination with no human driver. They believe that this service is gonna end up costing so much less than it won't be even worth owning a car in the short future. Investor group Ark Invest believes that most families will go from two cars to one and most singles and couples with no children won't even own a car in the next five to 10 years. All these great inventions of Tesla aside, COVID and isolation have also helped reduce our global carbon footprint due to less transport. Yes, people working from home have actually helped us reduce our greenhouse gas emissions by nearly 20%. Some countries like China have seen visible changes in the air pollution. Some saying it's the first time in 10 years they have seen blue skies in the CBD. Speaking of blue, did you know that by hitting that little gray button, it turns blue? Mm -hmm. In fact, by turning it blue, it helps more sustainable videos like this one get shared to more people and helps our world go that much greener. So help the world go green by making it go blue. Thanks so much. Electricity is used by over 87% of the world and the vast majority of that power comes from burning fossil fuels, which creates 27% of the world's total CO2 emissions. To combat this, Tesla once again has stepped in. Just like how Tesla made EVs cool, they're now trying to make solar panels cool, mostly by making them invisible. Before, solar panels looked large and ugly, with less than 20% of American homeowners saying they would ever get one in 2016. However, since Tesla panels, nearly 50% of Americans said they would seriously consider buying them this year alone. Tesla solar panels double as roof tiles and are within actually about a 15% price bracket as if you were to get a standard roof plus solar panels. They also come with a 25 year guarantee and the best thing of all, they can generate so much power in some cases, you can actually put the power back into the grid and make money from their app. So let me know below, what of those top five was your favorite? What solution was your favorite? Did we miss out any? What are some practical things you could do at home to reduce your carbon footprint? And what was some maybe piece of advice you could share with others? And lastly, what's something you would like to see on our next video? Any and all comments are very much welcome. So until the next video, thank you so much and have an awesome rest of the day. Bye.